the Union of Concerned Scientists presents five frequently asked questions about global warming. How do we know that humans are the major cause of global warming? When we burn fossil fuels like coal and gasoline, the carbon dioxide molecules released are lighter than those from other sources. By measuring the weight of atmospheric carbon over time, a clear correlation appears between the increase of lighter CO2 molecules and the increase in overall CO2 levels. Causes of climate change can be measured independently, and compared to human-induced carbon accumulation, they simply do not show the same drastic increases. Why does CO2 get most of the attention? Methane, nitrous oxide, and many other gases can have a heat-trapping effect. But by measuring historic global temperature and CO2 levels from ice core samples, we can see that carbon dioxide has had by far the largest impact on global temperatures. Additionally, the amount of CO2 released in the past quarter century has weakened the Earth's ability to remove that gas from the atmosphere. A metric ton of carbon emissions leaves 50 kilograms more carbon dioxide than it did 45 years ago. Does air pollution, specifically particulate matter, affect global warming? Tiny air pollutants can indeed have an effect on global warming. Most are produced by natural processes, like erupting volcanoes, though some are due to industrial pollution as well. However, these particles remain in the atmosphere only for a few days, and thus have minimal impact on overall global temperatures, especially compared to heat-trapping gases. How does the sun affect our climate? It has been suggested that changes in solar output might affect our climate. Over the time scale of millions of years, the change in solar intensity is a critical factor in influencing climate. However, changes in solar heating rate over the last century cannot account for the magnitude and distribution of the rise in global mean temperature. Will responding to global warming be harmful to our economy? To help avoid the most dangerous consequences of climate change, the United States must play a lead role and begin to cut its heat-trapping emissions today. Climate 2030, a national blueprint for a clean energy economy, is an analysis that outlines how to achieve these cuts while saving consumers and businesses $465 billion a year by 2030. For a deeper explanation of the answers given in this video, and for more information on the Climate 2030 blueprint, see the UCS FAQ page on which this video was based. The Union of Concerned Scientists is the leading science-based nonprofit working for a healthy environment and a safer world. For more information, see our website at ucsusa.org.